Nga bwe chumayi ntuwana libo zake mwosipe kasera kano Ngira okuwa jo Tuwa badeo mtu no mwakilizi wa kumwakisis Nga kabe mchala we Wana libo mwiru po Agizeza hako kubaki ingiri jamu funamu Na statement ye vudeye eri Wana libo wafe Francis zake Agawala isino nje kabi ya maziku Musajja baamu kubie nyo 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 Fesi yo na ezimbie Okuguru kwa amenye se Bode yo na yo na murubuto wano kumugongo Waju devi sage vya manye wifu utuka mwomo saichu Wala anga baamu dusiza mkaluwa alilo Statement ye badi mpavu ilaka anju kusumire wano nemekuluwa Sacha dhati ujifuni le dara dara uh, Statement ye nujifuni okuwa kupeji ya honorable Francis zake Ilangi badi gamba wait in the urgent appeal for rescue by Honorable Zake Francis. Comrades, as you are all aware, Honorable Zake Francis was inhumanly arrested by police and military from his residence in Mitiana Municipality, Mitiana District, on the evening of Sunday, 19th April 2020. He remains detained to date. The cause for his arrest was that he had earlier that they sent a good Samaritan to go door to door distributing food to his neighbors. Since arrest, Honorable Zake says he has been subjected to unspeakable torture while in detention at Mitiana Central Police Station at the Chieftains of Military Intelligence, CMI, in Zambia Military Barracks and at the Special Investigations Unit, SIU, in Chileka. This ordeal has left him in deep pain, blind and unable to walk for the past three days. Njagala statement yeyo jubulile bulunji. He suspected it will have a broken spine and leg. His face is swollen and most parts of his body, especially his back, stomach and chest areas are covered by septic wounds oozing blood. He briefly describes what happened to him as follows. As soon as they arrived at Mitiana police station on a Sunday night, Honorable Zaki was brutally kicked and punched by police and military officers under the watch, supervision, and participation of Mitiana District Police Commander DPC Alex Mwini and Wamala, Re and Wamala Region Police Commander RPC Latifus Zake, his namesake. He was severely punched in the face by RPC Latif and kicked all over his head by DPC Alex Mwini both of whom directly participated in his arrest. Thereafter, they grabbed the Honorable Zake from the floor where he was groaning in pain and dragged him towards a waiting double cabin police truck commonly known as 99 Patrol. On reaching the truck, the officers held it together and tied Honorable Zake's hands and legs with the ropes and then pushed him under the open air seats at the back of the 99 patrol. They then fastened both ends of the ropes onto the seats and suspended his body in that small space between the seats and the floor, in such a way that his body was dangling below the seats but without touching the floor. They then drove him at high speed along the sections of an unknown road in such a way that Honorable Zaki's body would swing and violently hit the sides of his metallic surroundings every time the trucker hit a pothole or harm. All the while, the soldiers were seated above him, kept touting and poking Honorable Zake with the sharp objects. Can you imagine? The 99 patrol drove for two hours until it eventually stopped in a compound that Honorable Zake could not readily identify. The soldiers unfastened him from the truck and dragged him onto the basement of a big building. In the basement, while still handcuffed, Honorable Zaki was subjected to yet another round of torture that went on late into the night. He was sprayed in the eye. He was sprayed in the eyes with an unknown liquid that has left him blind. He was sprayed in the eyes with an unknown liquid that has left him blind to death and then beaten all over his head with several objects including what he suspects to have been a stick lined with barbed wire. He says it was later 
when he was mixed with other detainees that he learned he was being held that he learned he was being held at CMI headquarters in Mbuya. The following day, Honorable Zaki was transferred from CMI to SIU. SIU is a Special Investigations Unit. So, he was uh, transferred from CMI to SIU headquarters in Chileka, from where he has been detained to date. At Chileka, Honorable Zaki says he has been subjected to torture on a daily basis in a specialized torture chamber. At one point, his captors lifted him while on handcuffs and threw him down hard on the cemented floor. They thereafter boxed and kicked him severely in the lower back, all the while insulting and asking him why he doesn't leave politics. Despite the, despite the worrying condition he's in, Honorable Zaki says he has been denied food, treatment, family access, and legal representation for the three days he has spent in legal detention so far. His demand is to be taken to court were equally rejected. It was only after Honorable Mwirupo accessed him and raised the concern over his worrying condition that Honorable Zaki was yesterday evening taken to Irani Uganda Hospital in Naguru, below the, the police headquarters for medication. He remains in detention even at the hospital. Honorable Zaki says that on several occasions while in detention he has been forced to speak on phone with several high-ranking political leaders including President Yoel Museven, who at one point furiously backed into the phone ordering him to leave politics. As a result, Honorable Zaki strongly fears that there is an imminent risk to his life should he remain in illegal detention. And and should they continue denying him access to an independent health facility of his choice. He is also worried about the safety of the so many people he found illegally detained in SIU and the same white torture chambers for years and months, including several journalists such as Wanu Katende of Voice of Africa, who was abducted after publishing a story how Uganda is handling the coronavirus pandemic. It has statement Nela Ganti posted by admin. Your statement every day. Page Yom Kru, Honorable Francis Zake. Banangi watching say to him as a mo. We know Kumana Wamu no. Katinga Vina 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 Vamutu Sizako. Gumrio Vurirotia, Erobo Funamochi. Banangi, Ambassador to Everemo. Let us raise our voices high. Let us speak out. Tetu siri kabana ngi, tetu siri kate, tetu siri kamu ganda wafe, alimu kukom, alimu kome, alimu tu seko vina 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 uli de tetu siri ka, tetu siri katu veyo tu ogere nti no free honare waza ke free Francis waza ke, awatari echo, omusaji agena tu fira komo komera. I commend and I call upon all people power comrades vina ngi, tu veyo ne dobo zire omangu ka, tu ruani re muganda wafe no, agawa lai. We to touch color, Muganda Fagana to Faco. If we say we are a mass already, Mazwe, or Kuguru Kwame, you say, while one of the tables and spine in a yo already broken, Netocha in a Yanajiba Mutu Sizako. Even Angi Tula Gawa, in Sia for a Saja one, while you driving a model election, Chi Banangi to veil to get a consonge and obega iri day. Let us speak out, let us speak out, let us speak out.